Well, the mage tower's about to be gone. So, yeah. All right, guys. What's up? It's your boy, NWP, and I'm bringing another video before Battle for Azeroth drops. But before we get started, really, with this video and we talk about what's really going on, Take the time right now to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell just next to it, so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. So, yeah, High Lord Cruel, you know? Like, he was a nightmare for tanks. I mean, okay, so no. Honestly, for Paladins, he was not hard. Even, even before the nerf, but, like... I've never played Brewmaster before today in my life, and uh, it took me a couple attempts to get this down, but uh, we got this bad boy down, and um, there's a, there's some over-glaring things that I noticed right away, because uh, on my Demon Hunter and my Paladin, I had multiple orbs up by this point, point. Um, and they really didn't take me any much longer. Well, the Paladin, I, it took me pretty long. I did that pretty early. Um, but... <clears throat> For Monk, you have no real range to interrupt at all, so you have to step back into this or waste an orb to interrupt the Inquisitor, which is pretty awful, if you ask me. So, yeah, everything kind of tied together really easily for me. Not you know, <clears throat> Normally, my strategy was to just stack the orbs up and use your self-heals. So what I did find without knowing how to really... Um, play from Brewmaster at all was that what you'd want to do on the first um, <clears throat> like cycle of debuffs on the Inquisitor was use um, you know your your iron skin and purifying and then uh, right afterwards what you would want to do is expel harm so that you, you you should have enough stacks to expel and get at least you know 70 to 80 percent of your health uh, well, at least two seventy to eighty percent health, I should say, not that much of your health necessarily, but you should be able to get a decent amount of health back and survive through to the next um, set of stacks from his little aura of decay. Now, the big thing here is once you get to the High Lord himself, you really just want to have roll off cooldown, and I even die on this attempt, but uh, I still get to kill, so it's whatever. And uh, these little things push you around and stuff like that. Really, it's it's the only thing you got to do is kill the like the Nether horrors and throughout the whole fight and uh, keep the infernals under control. That's it. And as you can see, I died. Like literally, I went down like a bag of bricks right here. But uh, you, this counts. Like this this actually counts. So take it how you will. It's a winner for me. And uh, yeah. You know, I don't know, guys. Thanks for watching. It's pretty much the end of the video here. As you can see, we go and uh, get teleported to Delron. Del Delron. Isn't that the name of the, the guy from ICC? No, anyways. But really, this is really straightforward. You just kind of got to do more damage than you'd really expect to have to do um, at random intervals. And the, the fight seems a little more random than any of the other... Um, <coughs> Now, guys, you got limited time, really. You have limited, limited time to get into the Mage Tower and knock out this uh, achievement as soon as you possibly can. If you want to, you know, 